Shalom. Shalom. How are you doing, guys? Israel, Nathan, and I wanted to discuss some very interesting um, topic with you. Something that we were thinking about. Right, Israel, Nathan? Right. But before what we said, that will make some magic, right? Right. Nathan? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. For our conversation with the world? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, we wanted to share a little thought that we had with you guys. Um, I told Israel Nathan that when I was a kid, I was always going to the sea and I was swimming a lot with my family. And today I told Israel Nathan that even though the, the sea is beautiful and great, me as a father, I'm a little bit worried to take Israel Nathan to swim in the sea. Right, Israel Nathan? Right. So when we're going to the sea, what are we doing? We're touching a little bit in the water and playing with the sand, right? But we're not like going and diving and swimming in the depths, right? Right. And I told Israel Nathan also that when I was a kid I was riding bicycles and I was going down the hill and I was acting even sometimes crazy. I would risk myself. But today as a father, I'm not uh, letting my kids to, to, to risk themselves and to go and to make all that um, craziness, things, crazy things that I was doing when I was a child. Right, Israel Nathan? Right. So... I thought to myself that maybe um, Nachman, what? welcome. Hi. So we were talking about things that me as a child I was allowing myself to do when my parents were not supervising on me. I would go and swim and I would ride bicycles down the hill and I would do crazy things that today I'm trying to protect you from doing those things, right? Even though that I did those things and I don't want you not to enjoy those wonderful things but I am still um, willing to protect you. Right, Israel Nathan and Nachman? Right. Yes. So, I thought about that thing that maybe there is a certain connection between the awareness of a person when he is um, unaware to the risks uh, to the awareness of a person that is aware and and um, and and willing to be careful and to protect his children from those risks. So I thought to myself that it's like chitzoniyut and pnimiyut. What is chitzoniyut and pnimiyut? When a person thinks only on the outside and he's so excited, he wants to jump into the water and to swim and he's not aware to the risk, he's not aware to the depths, he's not aware to the waves, he's not aware to the fish, to the risks, right? There are sharks in the sea. You can never know where the danger will come from, right, Nachman? Yes. But when you don't think deep, when you don't focus with your mind on what it is, like what's the risk, what can happen, so then, you're just going and you're enjoying, but in a way, you are disconnected from reality. You understand? So I thought to myself that maybe when a person is growing in life and he becomes to be more responsible and he cares about his beloved ones, his children, his little Israel Nathan, his little Nachman, so then he becomes to be more aware to what that goes on in life, right? And it's not only about education. Wow, what's that? It's your friend. What's his name, do you know? No. Right. Doesn't his, his name is not uh, Pau? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either. I so, think it's Pau. Pau? Yeah. I don't know. We're thinking. We're still uh, still thinking. So I think that this process of, of growth, of looking into the depths of, of, of reality is, is, 
is a very deep thing in life and that many of us can uh, relate to it even in that path of us trying to connect ourselves to to faith that with your awareness to it with your dedication to it with your good will that you're willing to try to grow and to take more responsibility and that you want to come closer and closer to the creator with time your mind is going into deeper aspects of your Avodat Hashem, of the way that you're serving the Creator, and you become more aware to the risks, to the difficulties, to the challenges, and as well to the benefits, right? I Nachman. Benefits. benefits is uh, Yitronot, good things that are coming out from, from that thing that you do, right? For an example, the fact that you are learning, right? In the beginning, when I told you, Nachman, I want you to learn Mishnayot, Israel Nathan, please don't play the Lego now. Have mercy on us. Please, you want to show us what you built with your Lego? Show us those spaceships that you built. So in the beginning, Nachman, when I told you to learn something, so it was a little bit like complex and you said, wow, why I need to, it's so hard talking about Mishnayot. Yosef, what are you learning over there? Mishnayot. Oh. Since second you talked about. Yes, exactly. We were talking about the Mishnayot right now. So this is a little Israel Nathan's spaceship. It's not an so Nachman, when I told you in the beginning, go learn Mishnayot, so you said, oh, I, it's too hard. And in the end, you read it once, and then you read, read it in the second time and third time. And then suddenly what happened? You, you understood a little bit more, right? A little more about it? Yes. Everything is Star Wars in your Lego, right? No. No, you have more than Star Wars, not only Star Wars? No, not this one. only. This is from who you said to watch. No, this is from yeah, Moana. Mommy. This is Maui. This is an aeroplane, right? It's not a spaceship. The... Aeroplane and a spaceship. So Nachman, with time when you're learning, you're getting deeper and deeper into the learning and the learning becomes more meaningful, right? You understand more things. And today when you read the Mishnayot, how many times you finished all Mishnayot already? A few times, right? Yeah. Five, six times maybe. Six. Six times. And now when you learn the Mishnayot more, you understand more, right? So you're getting into the pnimiyut, to the inner side of the learning with time, with the fact that you're learning more and dedicating more. Yosef, how are you? You know we love you so much, Yosef. You have fans, you know, Yosef. People admire you, Yosef. People love you so much and they want to be your friends, Yosef. The verse is saying on Yosef that he was a successful man. Yosef Ish Matzliach. Right, Yosef? Yes. Okay, go keep on with your Mishnayot. See you soon. Little Nachman, we love you. You have friends all over the globe. People love you. People appreciate you. People want you to talk. People want you to share your thoughts. They want to learn from you. They want to hear your thoughts. A few days ago, you decided to share a little bit about your learnings, right? Yes. What did you say? That I'm learning. I said about that I'm learning. What? What were What were you saying? Also a pool. What are you learning? Um, the stories about Sadikim. Righteous people. Yes. And Mishnayot. Yes. Tikkun Aklali. You say Tikkun Aklali every day? Yes. Ten chapters of Tehillim every day? Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. And 
dish. It's a conversation of the holy angels made out of fire. That's the name of the book that you're reading. What's that? That book is, uh, what is it telling about? About, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Think about it. Those are quotes, Tzitutim. From the, from the students. Students of the Tzadikim. Of which? And who is it talking about? There is a main righteous man that is the heart and the center of this book. Rabbi Nathan. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev and his main student, Rabbi Nathan. Right. So those are quotes of their students that are praising them and telling us deep secrets about Breslev, right? Yes. Do you, do you know that your name is Nachman, name after Rabbi Nachman of Breslev? Yes. And you're also happy about it? Yes. You know why? Mm, no. Because I think you're an angel. You know what was the first word that you said when you were a child? What? Tzaddik. It wasn't to me, it was Shlomo. No, 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 it was you. The first word that you were saying when you were young, it was always Tzaddik, Tzaddik, because your mother, Ima, always called you Tzaddik, Tzaddik, Tzaddik. So the first word that you learned was to say Tzaddik. Tzaddik means righteous. Israel Natan, you have friends all over the world. People, people likes you. People think you're cute. People, even you know, we have one student in the Holy Land. Her name is Elaine. And she took one of your pictures and she saved it on her, um, um, how you call it? The screen, like picture of her screen. She put your face on her main page of her phone and her screen is your smiling face. <laughs> and now all of the apps and everything she's using on her phone got your beautiful smile background. What do you say? I don't know. You can say thank you, Elaine. Thank you. She loves you. Everyone loves you. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for helping us to share and to and to and to expand the knowledge and um, the good and pure knowledge of the creator's patience and love no. to his people and thank you for sharing those posts and uh, letting your beloved no. ones enjoy it as well we love to share our lives with you our life with you for us it's a pleasure and it's a joyful thing and um, and we want to continue. Israel Nathan, may the Creator bless you with all good. <coughs> what do you say? Good. Say Amen. Amen. And little good Nachman, amen. we love you. May the Creator bless you with much happiness and success. What amen. do you say? Amen. And amen. we're blessing all of our friends and all of our followers and all of our siblings, sisters and brothers around the world from our nation, from different nations, everyone that the faith in the Creator is stuck deep in their heart, we are praying for you every day and also mentioning your names and also um, dedicating a lot of thought and intention that all of our um, work will affect in a positive way on your lives. May your prayers and requests will be answered immediately from heaven and that we all going to see wonders and salvations soon. Amen. Amen. You want to say something before we say goodbye? Oh, I don't know what. All of the time you don't know. You got used to say I don't know. Yes, but I know something. So say something, but not something silly. Say Why? something nice. Say something nice. Okay. No, say. I love you. We love you too. Thank you. Bye. And joke. No, no joke today. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.
Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.